happy to be home. I don't know about you. The hook is not hooking. I do better when I work from home. There's just too many conversations and not seeing well means I hear better. It's very distracting. Something is broken in there and I don't want to deal with it right now. So I'm just going to pretend like it doesn't exist because that's the best solution, right? It sounds like glass. I'll deal with that later. Two things to show you quick before I head down to the gym for a quick sesh. This arrived from Ritzy. I couldn't wait to so open it. Sorry guys. This is the second half of the order that I placed. This dress has my name all over it. It's a little thinner than I'd like. It's in this coffee bean color. You know, I'm a sucker for anything cocoa complected. Wear this with a blazer. I think it'll be good for work days because hey, all these in office days, what can I say? I hope no one watches my vlogs. Probably not. As long as no one from work sees this, but guys, let's just have a real conversation for a sec. If you have a hybrid schedule, how do you feel with them upping the ante and asking me to come in more days? It's weighing a lot on me. I mean, there's a lot to learn and at least I can ask people things in person. But then I also have to pack my lunch and prepare myself and I didn't even get a chance to straighten my hair because I have to edit and that thing is only at 76% and I started uploading before 7 a.m. today. Special delivery arrived at work. One of the benefits of where I work is they're very accommodating. So I'm gonna do a TikTok real soon on that. They gave me these headphones so that now I can auditorially play out my emails and anything else I need to get done. So we'll see how that helps or doesn't because you know they gave me the oversized keyboard with the keys that I still can't see. Hopefully. These remind me of the studio ones that were sent to me for review. I actually like those ones so much. For you guys, I haven't done sit down videos all year. And most of last year, I'm sure you guys have noticed that. Part of the reason is I get to say a lot on Patreon and behind the paywall, I feel more comfortable speaking. I think tomorrow I will do a little sit down and chat with you to let you know what's been really going on because it's been a lot. Some things are too heavy to talk about here, honestly. But I do think some things would help the community, whether you're visually impaired or not. I'm just grateful for the patrons I do have. It's given me the ability to have a platform where I feel more comfortable sharing and giving and just, it keeps the energy going. So on the bright side, on the flip side, cause we're all trying to put it on that side. We're always gonna be all right. Thank God I'm part of the 10% of visually impaired people that still work. Which on another note, before I wrap up, let me just say this real quick. To the people who think I should just call them the welfare, what about Ontario Disability? Both of those would not even be able to help me afford this place. And you see my place. So for someone who's aspiring to do bigger, better, and give back, I can't go backwards. And I'm glad that we have support systems, but they're very broken. Like basically to be disabled and independent would be to be destitute, which is why a lot of disabled people live with family or significant others, which I don't have the option to. So that's why we do what we do. And I think I do it pretty well considering all factors. So for the people who are just like, just know I'm welfare. That's like, if that's how you look at life, that's all right. Sorry, I just desire more for myself. And I'm not saying welfare is a bad thing. I'm saying if you are able to get government assistance, it helps you get a leg up to do better than what you could have done without it, then sure. But I already feel like I'm in okay position that Having to fall back on something that would leave me worse off doesn't really make sense. But yeah, that's my little rant for a Monday morning. Wait, Monday morning, Lord of mercy. A Monday evening, I am not okay, guys. You know, I probably will do a little sit down with you guys tomorrow to let you know at least something so you can get some insight into why I'm like this lately because I don't think this is the right energy, especially if you're new to my vlogs, you're probably like, who is this girl? But anyway, as you can hear, I'm unzipping my dress because it's time for me to get dressed in my yoga clothes and do a gym sash. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. That song is stuck in my head. Okay, listen. Sephora had a sale, as per usual, you know what I had to do. I had to get a couple goodies. So this is the Neige, I think it's called the Water Bank Cream. It's super moisturizing and it came with a mini. So I was like, hey, save a little bit of money. Even though this is still too big to travel with, I think it's still good to have a mini of it. Also from Laneige, 
This is a super dewy night mask. I don't remember what it is. I ordered it a few days ago. Used to be that if you ordered at a certain time, even though it's a spring sale and everyone's ordering, you can usually get your stuff the same day or the next day, but hey, I guess everyone's buying this time around. I had to re-up on the Summer Fridays Pink Sugar Lip Gloss. The best one is Vanilla Beige. I needed a new Makeup by Morrow I I was gonna say eyebrow pencil. This is an eyeliner, which I wish I could still use liquid liners. So pencils are my best friend since I can at least feel it gliding along the waterline. I can't see my eyes anymore. Even with the magnifying mirror, I'm struggling to use my mascara. This one I bought maybe 150 times. Okay, maybe not that much, but this is Pat McGrath's Dark Star Mascara. It's really, really good. It doesn't clump, which is very important when you can't see clumps well. I've been hearing a lot about this correction thingy. It's from Ole Hendrickson and I used to love the Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. So when I saw that they had a banana colored color corrector, hopefully this can blend out. Otherwise this is just gonna be specifically for content creation. I don't wear makeup dated, ooh, that's yellow yellow. Yeah, probably content creation only. Hopefully this helps because I've been losing a lot of sleep lately and I don't want it to look like that. So. I'm gonna cover it up and that with this, I don't remember what this brand is, but they sell rose gold and gold under eye masks. And I'm like, hey, I've never really tried these patches. So let's see, I wanted to get the topical ones but then they've been sold out from time. This is, oh, I was not about to give Killian $400 this time around. I said, no, I'm still getting through Rolling in Love. But that is my favorite perfume of all time. But when I got a sample of Love Don't Be Shy, I'm like, okay, I, I at least, at least, at least, at least need to get the travel size. So that's what this is. It smells so heavenly and it pairs really well with Princess. I think it elevates the marshmallow because they both have that as an undertone. And of course, when you order online, you get some samples. I have no idea what these are. I think that says fresh, but I'm not 100% sure. But I mean, you're not here for the samples. You're here for the stuff that I got. So that's my... Little spring haul, I'm so proud of myself. There used to be a time when I would spend like quite literally thousands of dollars. But nowadays I just get the essentials and I'm okay. Maybe it's just I'm a different state of mind, a different place in my life. I mean, that's for sure. So there's something I've been wanting to share with you guys, but I, is that a sign that I shouldn't speak? I mean, I do wanna do a dedicated video on this topic. But I actually had to take a half day off from work today because I'm not okay. Yesterday was a funeral for a family member who for most of my life was actually the closest person to me. And you would think by now I have dealt with loss quite a bit in my life. The Patreon fam knows to what extent I'm really talking about. I would be able to handle this and I'm not really handling it that well. Like usually I just chug through and work through and then I give myself chunks of time, almost like time blocking to grieve and mourn and be in my mind. But I'm like literally typing and I'm like, I am not okay. Like I can force myself to be productive. I know that without a doubt, but I just need to sit and let it settle in because it really has it. And everyone, that was at the funeral yesterday said the exact same thing like we cannot believe she's gone so yeah it's a lot it really is a lot so i'm gonna sit with that and i'll check in with you guys another day because i
never have I ever. Sorry, how rude of me. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. I never have I ever been in as much pain as I am right now. Even when I got my wisdom tooth extracted and I was open for all three of them being pulled out, I was like, should I have gone to sleep for this? I don't know. And when they offered me Oxy, I took one and I said, the, the bottle is here still, actually. I need to toss it out. It's been four years. But this is different. I got a procedure, my very first surgery. Oh wait, this is gruesome, so just warning you guys, you might want to skip ahead. If you watch my vlogs, you know exactly what this is. I talked about it three years ago, so we're not gonna get back into it. But I was just thinking, at the off chance of feeling pain every once in a while, maybe it makes sense to feel pain now, get rid of the thing, and just go for it. But Lord of mercy. I know moms watching this, who've been in labor for hours are like, wait, watch this, because nothing compares to that, apparently. This, for me, though, is a lot. It's a lot. When I woke up, she's like, what's your pain? I'm like, six, do you have something for me? Gives me five pills, and then sends me home with a prescription for hydro morphine. And I'm like, I don't want to take this. I'm so traumatized. Even before shows like Dope Sick came out, I've always been weirded out by painkillers. And I don't even have addictive personality. I just don't, I don't know. But this time around, I've been taking it on time, okay? Every five hours, like clockwork, because the way I feel, like even speaking, I can feel my diaphragm, like what? And my cousin had me laughing on a voice, and I'm like, don't do that, we can't do that. Sneezing, absolutely not. I coughed twice, I said, whatever's itching my throat, keep itching, because I'm not the way. Ooh. Ooh. I was so drowsy after. I tried to stay up for a couple hours. I went to bed before seven, woke up, and I was like, oh, the sun is setting. Then I went back to bed, woke up at one, and then I woke up again at seven something, and it took me, looks like it took me over an hour to shower and get dressed because this waistband, I know skims are super comfortable. Maybe I should pop back on the dress. That thing was my saving grace when I came back to this place because I couldn't have worn clothes clothes. I was so in pain. I was so happy that I wore a sweater dress to the procedure. I've never had surgery before, but something just told me, they're cutting you open. Oh, I can't believe I registered for this program. So wear something super comfortable. So I put on a dress and <laughs> the nurse turned and she said, why oh, you got dressed so fast? Wear your pants. I'm like, it's a sweater dress. I don't know if she was trying to tell me my dress was too short, but whatever. Ooh. This is not real life. I just have a different type of respect for any woman that does a non-elective surgery because to opt in for this level of pain, and I heard BBLs are gruesome. Liposuction is gruesome. I could never, like, oh, choose for this? Oh my goodness. Oh, now I see why I put it off for three years. I'm gonna make some tea. Special little delivery. <laughs> There's a few days left of the Sephora sale and I figured I've been so good for the last year. Not just half a year, not since the last Sephora sale. For the last year, I barely buy anything from Sephora unless I get it on sale. I might need a new foundation brush, but I was thinking, I don't really do sit down videos, which means I don't really wear foundation, which means brush but because it's a four collection it would be 30 percent off i didn't order it yet though i might order it today i'm still on the fence but these things some of them are re-ups this right here is the best exacto knife of life okay wouldn't have done my form without it so i finally got a full size of the grown alchemist face wash since i'm halfway done my oh my skin feels so good my tea tree from Sage. I got a, another travel size of this one, actually. I wanted to get a full size, but they're sold out. But I love it, but I have so many fragrances. Like I have nine samples. Wait, I think I have like 15 perfumes. I feel like there's nine full size, six samples. That's what it was. So this is this, and this is this. These are perfect for packing in my carry-on. So as you guys know, when I travel, I only ever bring these bad boys. So next, because there's not that much in here. I'm so excited. Everyone has been talking about the Lash Clash. And if you know me, for the last four or five years, I have been a bonafide Pat McGrath 
Dark Star Mascara Girly. That mascara is so blind girl friendly. I love the Better Than Sex. That's a good classic. Too Faced did it. Let me make sure my dress is not on here. Wait, where is my dress? Oh, okay. Make sure I take it off later. Don't let me forget. This arrived just in time because I did my upper lash line. Let's see if this is as phenomenal as people are saying because people are making it seem like this is the best mascara on the planet. YSL. Wow, my liquid liner is so bad. I really need to retire that. Are you seeing that? I can actually see that. That says a lot. <laughs> this packaging feels hella cheap. Like Pat McGrath is gold and it feels heavy. It's not a real gold, I wish. I mean, for the price it should be. Okay, verdict is in. This is definitely a blind girl friendly. It's perfect for the lower lash line. I don't get any smudging that I usually do with my other mascaras, especially the Rare Beauty one, because I really like that one too. I also like the Ilia mascaras. But those ones smudge a dudge dudge a lot. I tell you the last time I've had a milkshake. Oh wow, the caramel's at the bottom. I didn't take that in. There it is. <laughs> well, mine's more spread out, but yours. Oh, yeah. You want some of last third one's a charm but i'm super hyped about everything in this box the first thing i know is probably underwhelming but i've never tried the sephora collection cotton pads and everyone's raving about them i'm running low on my muji ones which are my day ones they do separate and i've seen in the reviews that these don't so i'll compare and let you know the next item is something that i've had my eye on for years and now that they've released it in this new shade hey especially since i've been pale as of late this is the glow recipe watermelon dew drop i think that's what it's called in a cocoa complexion just to give you a little island girl hue so let's see how this does because of course i'm not only getting it to give me a little bit of color until my melanin is popping this will give me a little boost but i'm hoping it gives me a little bit of a glow too but i'm not really I don't see anything special. Womp, womp, womp. I don't know if they still do samples at Sephora. I wish I got a sample of this because I don't want to return it and waste the whole bottle, you know? I have two lipsticks from Lawless since last week in my last shipment. I ordered, not this, this is Kaja, which is really, really good. I got the Lawless Forget the Filler lip gloss and it's really, really good. So I'm like, you know what? I haven't bought a lipstick in over a year. Let me try these and see which one I like. A trio mini of the Salt and Stone Vetiver and St. Tal, or St. Tal and Vetiver, I don't know which way it goes. All I do know is this smells exactly like one of my favorite candles. You know when you have a candle that you absolutely love and you hold on for dear life? That's what I'm doing right now. Like this should have been done a long time ago, but I'm still, I wish I was gonna give it to you guys and I'm like, you can't smell it. It's luxurious hotel lobby right here dio which doesn't really help with you i don't know about you but in the summertime i already use antiperspirant not deodorant and then the body wash i think this container is so adorable i almost bought the full size of this but if you saw the price even 20 percent off i am not the one and then this i think is the body lotion i tried the hand cream in the store and it was really moisturizing i was very tempted to buy I don't want a budget, okay? I have big aspirations for this year. So I have to be a little bit more reasonable. I think I did pretty good, all things considered. Last and most special, I told myself I wasn't gonna buy a full-size fragrance in this sale since I got, speaking of Jo Malone, I think this is the only one I got during the fall sale. I think I got a few, yeah, I did. I got two little travel sizes during the fall sale and then a full size Jo Malone. This is the Ginger Snap. I still wear this. I don't care if it's spring and this is more of a fall winter scent. It's Grum Diddlyumptious. So for a more spring vibe, I present to you Sunlit Cherimoya. I didn't even know what a Cherimoya was. I had to Google it. You know, like, hmm, looks like something we have in Antigua. And when I smelt it, it smells like nothing I've ever smelt before. Hello, can you come out or no? It is sublime. When I tell you, 
this scent. I went to the Jo Malone store with my brother because he's obsessed with Jo Malone as well. And we sprayed all three. I like the Yuzo, but I don't love it. It reminds me of the Mujo, Mujo. It reminds me of the Muji essential oil. And you need to put this on you because the way it smells on you is gonna smell different than it does on the paper tester. It's just, and give it time because throughout the day, it just kept evolving into something so delicate, but so delicious. It's so good. It's making my mouth water. Well, that and I'm probably hungry, but yeah, I highly, 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 if you can get your hand on this one out of the five they released, perfection, honestly. Mm, I'm gonna be doing this all day. And I can't wait till the sillage kind of waves and it evolves. Oh, it's so good. So good, I'm such a fragrance sucker. Like, honestly, I don't know if it's because I'm losing vision and it helps me smell and hear and taste and feel more, but the obsession with fragrances has just been amplified since my vision has deteriorated. It's just, maybe it's just an excuse I have, but it's so good. It's so sweet, it's so warm. It's the tonka bean in there that just, mm. <laughs> things like even getting out of bed even turning anything more than my head thank your core guys wake up and thank the lord that your core is working because now that i had this whole thing whew, whew, i heard something drop but i didn't realize this arrived and i was thinking about it yesterday i'm like where's that package a bag and a bag and a bag quite literally can you see there was a time where, oh, these are looser. There was a time where I was doing TikToks every day and for my TikToks, I would have a cup of tea. And for whatever reason, I guess I was exhausted after editing. I accidentally threw this part out, this part out, and one time the whole thing out. So I ordered four more. Scorpio. I tried to do 10 minutes of yoga today and it kicked my butt. I didn't do anything intense. I literally picked a beginner hip class. Hip as in reverse on the floor. Pigeon. Regular pigeon. I did like two bridges. Done. Downward dog. Who's that? I'm still in quite a bit of pain. <sighs> But I'm glad to be on the other side of things. They say you're never the same after surgery. So I mean, here we are. But on the roster for today is work, work, and more work. I hope I don't log off as late as I did yesterday, that part. I was off so much last week that I had so much to catch up on. And I still miss things. So I'm gonna focus on that. I'm gonna have a matcha. Wait, why is my kettle bird boiling? I turned it on a second ago. And edit, 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 because I have a video I want to post tomorrow that should have been up from January because I started it in October. And when you see it, I hope you like it because it's something very different here on my channel. Psst, it has to do with the flooring. <laughs>
might have made a big mistake by going to get groceries today. Not because it's a Saturday and usually the grocery stores are overwhelmingly busy. It was actually not bad. I didn't even have to wait in line. I was like, twilight zone? All of Toronto is quiet, actually. I'm wondering if something's going on tonight. All I do know is this was too soon after surgery. I mean, my brother got me groceries earlier in the week, but a lot of things were sold out at the store he went to. So I decided to go to another one today. Let's just say it was a little bit much for this body. It's been a week plus a day, so I don't know why I'm saying it like it's been months. I might have to cancel on David tomorrow because the way I feel, it took a lot out of me, guys. So I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the night. I'm gonna put these away, sterilize my backpack case, yep. I do that. Even when I did the montage earlier with the green juice I made, should be chilled enough so I can sip some. I was like, do people care about this? Like, I don't know if this is aesthetically pleasing, if you're interested in what I'm doing, or if you just want to see me when I'm outside. Because I feel like the vlogs where I travel do the best. No surprise there. The vlogs where I show you where I eat and things to do in Toronto, those also do well. But when I'm just chilling at home, I mean, the people who like to have the random chats, they like that, but I don't know. really said that it is too late at night for me to be on TikTok for this stupidness. Chris Brown really went there. That was ruthless. The boys are fighting. This is the app for you. This is why I don't go on it before I go to bed. Oh my god, oh my guts. That was the part I freaked out about. Exclamation mark. This is what it's like texting. I can't. I gotta talk it through. Good night, guys.